this is Stampy, and welcome back to my let's play of Skylanders Trap Team. I am here still in Rainfish Riviera, and I am playing as Rumble Rouser for the moment. Uh, but I will be switching around to a new Skylander uh, very shortly. I'm basically uh, going to wait until uh, it recommends which element I should be, and then I'm going to switch around and try out a brand new character. And uh, the reason I'm here at Rainfish Riviera is because I am trying to retrieve an information squid <laughs> that uh, belongs to this woman. We've got another crane. I stocked up on these things years ago. Just pick up those pirates and move them out of the way again. I don't care where. No, wait. Yeah, I do. Put them in the water. Yay. We get to go and play around with another crane. But first, I'm going to switch around characters. Now, I need to be a character of the water element. And so let's switch around to this kind of awesome looking person who is called Gilgrunt. <laughs> oh dear, this guy looks cool. The actual figure has him kind of riding, it looks like a water dragon, a dragon made out of water. Hopefully that's something that I can do. And it looks like he has a, a spear gun and he can also, oh it's a water gun and a spear gun. Uh, this guy's pretty cool. It seems to, to need to recharge with water, and then it becomes less powerful afterwards. Maybe I'm going to be able to, to upgrade that a little bit later on. But yeah, let's check out Gilgrunt. So uh, the first thing I need to do uh, is go and try and use this crane, and I need to pick up all of the baddies and throw them over uh, into the into the sea. And I did this in the last episode, so hopefully I'm going to be okay at it. <laughs> I had a, a miss with the first one. I think the tactic uh, is to try and uh, pick up the pirates when they're not moving. When they're moving uh, it's kind of very hard to, to grab them uh, even it looks like you should get them you don't always get them so let me wait for it to stop moving and oh look I can pick up this stuff as well ah okay should I try and drop this on one of the pirates shall I is that gonna get him there we go I think this is a more fun way to do it and look looks like there's some some traptanium there you don't think I could pick that up do you and oh look do I need to destroy this? I oh, know, I think that's going to open once I've taken out all of these people. Can I get that guy? Oh, nearly. Nearly. Right, let's try and pick up these, whatever these are again, these big tubes. And no, don't move. Don't move. Oh, I was just about to get that person. Right, let's just pick up this guy. And uh, nope. <laughs> he started moving again, so I missed. Right, I've only got one more of these left. Can I see if I can get two and one. What do you reckon the chances are? Are there any two close together? As soon as I say that, they all spread out. I should be able to get that one. There we go. That was pretty easy. And while this one's not moving, there we go. In the last episode, I tried to drop one on the other person's head, but that didn't really work. So <laughs> I'm not going to try that again. Uh, but what I can do uh, is go and move over down here and then try and grab the final one. And oh, look, I've just seen a hidden area. Can you see that little hidden pretzel <laughs> down in the, the bottom right hand corner of the screen? I guess there's going to be a, a hidden area uh, down there which I can go and explore. But there we go. I grabbed the final pirate and now I can make him go for a dunk. And I should be able to now uh, get across to the next area and get closer to finding the information squid. So I can now go and hop down here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and investigate the hidden pretzel. Is that what it is? Is it just a pretzel? Oh, I hope there's going to be more there. No, no, now I've picked it up now. I can't use it to get my health up later. But let's try and shoot this guy. I think I need to jump to hit him. There we go. He's come down anyway. All right, let's squirt water in his face. I should do okay uh, because I'm the water element. I'm doing extra damage. You see it comes up saying like plus 20 and uh, plus 20 again there, plus 7. Uh, that's basically because I'm the water element, I'm doing bonus damage. So this way, uh, even though Gilgrunt is still only level 1 because I've only just started playing as him, uh, he should hopefully be able to, to hold his own. And he seems to be doing okay. He hasn't even been hurt yet. But wait a minute. What's this on the horizon? I don't like the looks of this. All right, let's do it. Let's hog it out. <laughs> brawl and chain. Right, we got the uh, the brawl. It was the uh, the brawlers, I think it was called. Yeah, the brawlers. <laughs> I was able to get this guy earlier, but it looks like we um uh, we have another one coming after us. And look, they all got targets. You don't think I can shoot the targets from here? Oh no, I just <laughs> I just jumped straight off the boat. That's not what I meant to do. And look, they're fighting. They're getting chains. Okay, I need to try and knock the chains off. Uh, before they're able to jump over. Bean, this guy might be quite good because he doesn't have to go right next to them. I'm just missing them all, though. I can't even get it. I can't get the chain. There we go. I got that one. Right, I need to go and take out this guy. And there we go. I leveled up. I don't have time to level up now. I need to try and take these guys out. Can I hit it off? Come on, get it. I just can't get it. Can I use the water cannon? Is that going to knock it off at all? Nope, it's totally not. <laughs> there we go. It just broke anyway. The game just saw pity on me, and it just let it break anyway. Right, I think if I stay back, 
a little bit further. I might be able to jump then knock them off. And I'm leveling up really fast here, actually. I don't have any money, but I'm already level three. So that's going to be getting me stronger and stronger. God, I'm getting hurt here, though. All right, let's have a, a switch around and let's be Brawrus for a bit then. <laughs> Warus versus Warus. And I've just noticed just how much bigger that Warus is than me. He's huge. Look at the size of him. <laughs> oh, dear. So what I think I should do is maybe change to a... um. Uh, to a different villain that is still the uh, the water element uh, but might be able to do some more damage so let me go and switch out the Brawrus and instead oh no oh no I'm still playing I don't think I'm still playing oh no I've dropped the trap I dropped the trap in the floor wait wait I gotta go get it I gotta go get the trap I dropped it on the floor okay I'm back I'm back I'm back I'm back I dropped it I panicked I got too I got too excited and I fumbled it and then I dropped it but it's okay it's okay I got it I put it back in now into the portal and now I can switch out to be the gulper and this guy is awesome <laughs> look at this like beast versus beast I think I've even even slightly bigger than it. Right, come on, take it out. If I go, if I try and surround it in slime, uh, then that way, wherever it moves, uh, then it's going to get hurt. There we go. I'm dealing loads of damage against this guy now. Right, that should be enough. I can switch over, and here we go. He can get the final kill. <laughs> then that way, he feels like he did it. <laughs> I did that. I took him out. Did you see me? And uh, as the uh, the water trap is already in, I should be able to to immediately go and capture him. Brawl and Chain Trapped. Okay, looks like I got myself a Brawl and Chain. So uh, let's switch out from the Gulper for now and uh, check out this uh, new character. He seems like uh, just a very powerful Warus. <laughs> I mean, I was able to take him out pretty fast, but then again, I am rather amazing. And it looks like we're going straight into a fight. So he can swing around and hit with his sword and his hook. And oh, look, he can also make his hook extend and maybe grab people. Okay, this guy, this guy seems to be to be pretty powerful. And there's also there seems to be some Traptanium up here, which I uh, might be able to to grab if I can. So uh, let me see if I can work out how to get up there. I can't jump up these, can I? No. There's a box back there which I can slide around. But I don't know how I'd get on top of it. Let's let's move it. Oh, there's a jump pad underneath it. Very sneaky. Right, seen as uh, its strongest being the water element, I'm going to change over to good old Snapshot, the, uh, the second Skylander I ever played as. There's a bit of trivia for you. <laughs> and uh, he should be able to, to very easily go and uh, destroy this Traptanium. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> well, I need to just whack it for a bit, then that might be the easiest way. Shoot a few arrows, give it a whack, shoot a few arrows, and then there we go. Oh, oh I, broke, I broke open a hole. I broke open a hole that it seems like I can drop down. It looks like I have found myself uh, a bit of a hidden area. So I'm going to switch back to Gil Grunt, <laughs> and then I can go and hop down this pipe Mario style and see uh, what it is underneath. Ooh, I'm below deck, apparently. Right, let's go and try and take out some of these uh, turtles then, shall we? They all seem to be all lining up. Right, apparently I need to be the chaos element, I think that is. Uh, but I don't actually have anyone that is the chaos element. So water element is going to have to do. This might be pretty tough, though. Uh, luckily, I did level up to level three. Uh, but I'm still um, yeah, I'm still a bit under-leveled, I think, here. And I'm getting very hurt. And there doesn't seem to be any food. Let's see if I... Actually, let's go and just switch over to Brawl and Chain then, shall we? Because I've not tried fighting as him. There we go. That did some decent damage. And there we go. I used the chain and was able to, to go and pull him back. So uh, that worked pretty nicely. And I also uh, leveled up. Gilgrunt uh, to level 4 in the process but if I switch over to a villain uh, I should be able to, to open up this villain stash so mashed potato uh, <laughs> it's open and uh, we can get all of the, the jewels and things uh, that were hidden inside not too shabby, not too shabby if you ask me this is a pretty long level actually it seems to be going on for uh, for much longer than I thought, plenty of a rather big hidden area so let's go and grab all of this money look he's almost got a thousand monies already and uh, I've only been playing with him for under 10 minutes so uh, that's not too bad. And so, yeah, let's go and uh, carry on and try and track down this uh, information squid then, shall we? And I don't know if we need to take out the rainfish as well. Uh, the rainfish is basically, uh, apparently once it had arrived, uh, it's been storming hey, non-stop. I just found my information squid. It's hanging somewhat suspiciously in that net. Ah! My information squid! Oh, those idiot pirates must have been using it as fish food. But if I understand fishing, and I don't, I'm thinking that we might be able to catch this rain fish using that crane over there. Come on, 
before it's too late. I don't know how many people try and catch fish with cranes. Is that a thing? I'm not a fisherman. But if you know the fishermen, go and speak to them and say, do you catch <laughs> your fish with cranes? Or do you use maybe a net? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, so it looks like we need to go and try and trap this giant rain fish. But first, it looks like we found another element gate. So I'm going to go and switch over to wallop. I said element really weird then. I was like, element. An element. <laughs> An element gate. And so yeah, if I switch over to wallop, uh, who is the earth element, I should be able to, to get through here. And I do really like Wallop. Wallop is pretty awesome, but I am uh, going to go and uh, switch back uh, over to um, old Gilly over here, Gil Grunt, <laughs> and uh, going to carry on as him, uh, so that way I can keep leveling him up and making him stronger, because to be honest, uh, he did uh, struggle a little bit earlier. <laughs> Nothing against you, Gil Grunt. I'm sure you'll be fine in the future, but it looks like, looks like we need to move some snails. Okay, we need to move them all across here, I guess. So let's move this out the way and this out the way. And then can I move these across? There we go. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. Move these across to here and then move... Um, if I jump to here, can I move that one to there? Is it going to let me slide it across? No, I can move this one to here. Is it going to let me slide it? There we go. And then I can slide that one down there. I have no idea if this is helping me. I'm just kind of doing what I need to do. Look how scared this one is. Oh, don't be scared. Don't be scared. I suppose, I mean, you might should, might be a little bit scared because I am pushing you all over the place. Right, okay, I think I've done this wrong. Do I, can I slide, the, okay, I can slide that one to the right. Is that what I'm supposed to do? There we go. I slide this over to here and this to here and then I can walk across and slide this one and this one and then the next one. Why were they arranged like that anyway? Was that, was that just the way they hang out? And look, it looks like there's little eyes on this rock down here, but it's just like little shellfish. Anyway, let's go and smash, 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 potato! There we go. I did it better. I did it half-heartedly early. I did it properly there, and I got a imperial hat. Oh, armor and speed—a pretty nice combination. And this guy seems pretty fast anyway. But let's go and make him even faster and get his armor up. Which is also very useful because he was getting very hurt earlier. So hopefully uh, Gilgrunt is going to be even stronger now uh, than he was earlier. And actually I know something that I want to do. I want to give him my favourite trinket in the game, the bubble pipe. <laughs> and then that way he can walk around endlessly blowing bubbles. <laughs> there we go. Oh look at him! In that hat, blowing that pipe, he is already ten times better than he was earlier. <laughs> and you can see in the bottom left-hand corner what I was talking about. You can see him hold, like, uh, riding that weird water dragon thing. You see that? So I reckon that is going to be one of his special abilities uh, we get later on. And once he's got that, I reckon he is going to be even more powerful. So let's go uh, as quick as we can and uh, try and gather up uh, as much of this uh, money as we can. And I'll uh, soon have over a thousand. And that should be enough uh, to buy one or maybe even uh, two uh, moves. Normally, like, the best moves are really expensive, though. They give you a few little moves and then the really good ones uh, you've got to buy later on. But it looks like for now... We got ourselves a new soul gem for Deja Vu. <laughs> have I seen this one before? I'm not sure if I have. I feel like I've seen this one before. Anyway, I'm not going <laughs> to uh, bother with uh, watching the, the preview. Uh, I kind of like leaving it as a surprise. So uh, in case I do get that character, uh, I have no idea what the moves are going to be. And then it's it's always kind of exciting uh, when you uh, first get a new character, kind of discovering what all of their, their new moves are going to be. And there's a bridge here that looks like I can pick up the wood. So I reckon I'm going to have to make my way across to here, take these guys out. Then pick up the bridge and then move it to the, the other side. Let's go and grab some of uh, this money. i got to go around smashing everything. It's just <laughs> it's just what I do. Then I can gather up all of the wood, take it over here and then put it back down. And uh, then I can get to the other side. And it looks like I've made my way to Bluster Squall Island. Was that called? Something along those lines. I don't know. There's walrus all over the place as well as all of the turtles. Try and dodge the bombs. There we go. That was a good dodge there. And that guy's getting really hurt. He's getting really hurt for some reason. Let's go try and use my water pistol. He's going to throw the bomb. There we go. I think he hurt himself. <laughs> there we go. Let's just keep squirting him in the face. Uh, use the uh, the old harpoon a little bit more and take him out. And there seems to be a, a little house I can go in here. Let's go and see who's inside. <laughs> That's a, a very tropical looking lady, considering that she's in the middle of Rainfish Riviera. And I also found the uh, the flying sapphire, the winged sapphire. And uh, these are really good because they basically make everything cheaper. 
Uh, yeah, 2% discount on upgrades, and I found quite a few of them. I found them in most areas I've been to. Not all of them, uh, but most of them. Uh, but I think this woman, this uh, Mabu, is she called Mabu? Something along those lines? Yeah, I think she has a, a mission uh, for one of the villains, so hopefully uh, it's one of the uh, the villains that I, I actually have. And yeah, I can see there's a chest behind me, as well as a safe here, so she might have some goodies for me if I have what she wants. Head of the- Oh, I do! I have him! I have a uh, Pepper Jack! I'm the best cook around these parts, and before you ask, no, I am not the only cook around here. There are others, good ones even, but I'm still the best. Problem is, I've got no cheese. Those pirates cleaned me out. Oh, that is so like them. What I need are the finest cheeses in all of Skylands. Naturally, those are all stored in some mysterious tropical ruins. And only Chef Pepperjack can find them. He's just such a connoisseur, you know? Well, a lucky day for you, sir. I'm sorry for calling you a woman earlier. Lucky day for you, sir. Pepperjack happens to be hanging out in my back poppick. Poppick? Pocket. <laughs> so, cheese, if you please, Pepperjack. Let's try and uh, get some uh, so we can go and uh, complete this mission. So, if I speak again. It's an honor to be in your presence, Chef Pepperjack. You are an inspiration to all of us. That is why you, and only you, can help me procure the finest cheeses in Skylands, located in one of the strangest jungle ruins. Are you ready, sir? Let's do it. Let's go to a jungle ruin. Let's have a little break from a rainfish riviera, and uh, let's try and find ourselves some cheese. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, there's uh, certainly some very unique missions in this game. <laughs> a special climate at these ruins makes them the ideal place to store amazing cheese. But the angry, evil head who haunts the place makes it slightly less ideal. He'll chase after you the second you pick up cheese. So get each piece to the basket as quickly as possible. Three, two, okay, okay. <laughs> We've got to rush. So we need to get the cheese and then bring it back here. And it looks like there's uh, plenty of googlies for us to face. Luckily, this guy is ridiculously strong. Look at this. Look how just quickly he just destroys everyone. This guy is so powerful. Right, let's go get the cheese, though. Uh, I got to get six... Uh, pieces of cheese and I have uh, six minutes to do so and so far I have found exactly none and here we go Here is some cheese hiding back here. Oh, nobody's found me. He's found me right I need to run I need to run I need to get back as fast as I can I can just run with the whisk out <laughs> and just try and run back. Oh, no, this is a dead end Oh, no, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. No, please don't. No, no, he got me Oh, he ate some of my time. I ran out of time a little bit. Oh, no, he's gonna get me again. Leave me alone Oh, no, he got another few seconds right. I'm right by the basket now. They put it in. It's in go leave me alone Leave me alone. There we go he backed off. He backed off. Right, that wasn't a very good start. Right, let's see if there's any any cheese hiding down here in this area here. If I just run around always throwing peppers. Okay, here we go. Here's some more cheese, but I've got to be super fast because he's going to come after me. Right, I got the cheese. I got the cheese. Run, run. Oh, no, he was right there. That's not fair. I ran straight into him. Right, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Do I go? I think I go a bit quicker when I use the whisk, maybe. Maybe if I do this, I can go even faster. There we go. I got in two out of six pieces of cheese. <laughs> oh, dear. But that's uh, almost two minutes down in the clock. Right, let's go to the the left. Let's go and have a look down this area. Here we go. There's cheese right here. All right, let's try and get this one back. I oh, know he's still right there. It's so tough. It's so hard to get past him. All right, hopefully he doesn't hit me again. Can I get it in? Can I get it in? There we go. I was able to get it in. I think that's the tactic. If I do my <laughs> my whisk like that, I think I can get I can get uh, even faster to places, and that way he can't get me as much as if I wasn't doing that. But right, looks like we need to to keep heading off in this direction. Uh, there might be some more cheese down here. God, we're getting really far away now, though. Oh look, there's there's some mystical cheese hiding at the back here. Right, we've got to be really fast if we can. Let's go, 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 go. Keep running. I got two pieces. I managed to get two pieces of cheese, and look at me go. I I think. I go pretty much the same speed as him. This is the way to stop him from catching up with me. And there we go. Two more. Two more pieces. I only need one more piece of cheese and then I will have all of the cheese in the land. So <laughs> let me go and whisk down here again. And uh, there's a frog there for some reason. And uh, let's see if we can find the last piece of cheese. This area seems to be massive. Any cheese down in this area? I think there might be. I think there might be some 
some hidden cheese back here. Go breathe some fire on these people. Oh, there's walruses around here. And there we go. Here is the last piece of cheese. So let's take this guy out and then let's run back as fast as we can. Oh no, he's right here. He's right on my tail. If I muck this up at all, he is going to get me. If I knock into any of the walls, then I stop whisking and he is going to catch up on me. But I seem to be doing a good job so far. I'm slightly getting ahead of him. Look at me. Go, 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 go. And put it back in the basket. Six of six. Your cheese, Gally, your cheese. This just goes to show why you are the master chef of Skylands. If you will permit me, sir, I'd like to make you something with all this cheese back at Rainfish Riviera. Please do, please do. I like the way they're saying, I know why you're a good chef, because you can run around fast and pick up cheese. That's all you need to be a big chef. <laughs> Thanks so much for finding the cheese, and for the privilege that was watching you work, chef. Please accept my Nanyapal Super Cheese Souffle as a token of my esteem. Thank you very much. I will take your Super Cheese Souffle. This should, um, this should upgrade me a little bit. Ooh, it's changed the colour of my coat. Quest complete. Head of cheese. There we go. Oh, look at me now. <laughs> I like my new outfit. I think I can breathe fire for even longer now. And Oh, this is good. This is good. Pepper Jack seems even more fiery uh, than he was before. And look at all of the cheese. Mountains of cheese. Mountains of cheese. I'm jumping. I'm swimming in cheese. I'm swimming in cheese. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. I'm going to switch to one of the, the really tiny ones just very quickly. I'm going to switch over to... Actually, I was going to switch to Wrecking Ball, but I'm going to change that. I'm going to go even smaller than Wrecking Ball. I'm going to change to Spry, I think this one's name is. <laughs> and I'm just going to jump around in the cheese as Spry for a bit, just because I think it would be good fun. Look at the cheese! Jump in the cheese! <laughs> oh, dear, can I destroy the cheese? Do I get money from it? Nope. It's literally just lots of cheese here. <laughs> oh, then we could play cheese football if we had someone else here. Cheese ball with the big round balls of cheese. Oh, who thought I could have so much fun with mounds of cheese? Anyway, let's go and uh, switch back to the character of the day. And let's go back uh, to Gilgrunt. And uh, let's open up the chest and see what other uh, rewards we got. Hopefully, it's lots and lots of money. So let's mash, 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 potato. There we go. I found all of the treasure chests. Looks like I am doing pretty good here. Looks like I am doing pretty close, uh, good. And I think, I think I am now very close uh, to arriving uh, at the uh, the rainfish and uh, getting the information squid. But I'm so sorry. We have just about run out of time this episode here. But I will be uh, uploading my next episode of Skylanders as soon as I can. So uh, hopefully you come back to watch that. But for now, I want to thank you as always very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!